welcome to Indonesia. Today we are trying the very first bullet train here in the first class comparing whether it's worth it or should you just stick with the much cheaper economy class ticket. Well guys, good afternoon from Halim Station here, just south of Jakarta. Today we're gonna be doing the fast train. As you can see, the security here is just like at an airport. You gotta check all of your bags before you head into the train. So you've got two ways of getting through the ticketing machine. You can actually get a physical ticket downstairs at the ticket counter, uh, but we have it on the app. The app was actually really easy to book the tickets, uh, which is what I recommend you do. However, it was pretty hard to find the app and find and research all of the information necessary to buy these tickets. So once you actually get here, it's easy. Well, we arrived about 20 minutes early before the train departs and you can already come out here, board, check in to the train. This train looks incredible from first impressions. It's the lounge. We missed that. <laughs> we have first class tickets. Yeah, but we missed the lounge. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to see. So the first train that we are going to be riding is the first class tickets, which cost 600,000 rupiah per person, which is pretty steep for a 30 minute uh, train ride. However, we're doing this to uh, compare whether it's worth it or not. Uh, compared to the 150,000 rupiah uh, economy class tickets. Hello. Hello, welcome aboard. Nice. Let's put our bags back here, yeah? So let's go ahead and check out this train first while we have the next 20 minutes or so before it departs. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the front of this thing. Wow, that is quite a line building up just at the front. Many people are getting in line to get the shot of the very iconic bullet train here, but we're gonna take the shots inside. So here's the entrance. We got plenty of storage here and the seats. The air conditioning is just blasting in here, so you got a nice little area to put your phone down if you want. We got lights above you. That's nice. The seat overall is pretty hard, yeah. <laughs> it's it's alright. Yeah, it's alright actually. The seat is, is very firm, um, just like most mattresses you might expect in, uh, in Asia, but uh, very spacious indeed. So these were our seats 1A and C, and I'll tell you later on why we would have chosen different seats. Behind us we have plenty of space for luggage and recline. We also had a coat hook which we used for our hats. Each seat comes with more than enough leg room and a footrest that you can lock and unlock. Next to it was one power outlet with USB plugs for charging, which comes in handy if you're working on a laptop. The seatback pocket in front of us was also big enough to fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro, so that's impressive. Lastly, each chair comes with a table as there is a meal service on board that you'll see later. And as soon as we were off, I started the timer to see how fast we would actually arrive. Oh man, I almost thought that guy wouldn't wave back. And so it begins. It is so quiet in here. Is it like the one we had in Malaysia? From Thailand to Malaysia? I think this is better. I think this is way quieter than the one in Malaysia. The one in Malaysia still have noise? I don't remember. It didn't have any noise in Malaysia. Nice. This is much quieter. So I now have a timer set to see how exact is this train. We'll see. Overall, for first impressions, it is extremely quiet in here, so it's hard to talk with people in here. There's only about three, six, nine seats in the first class, and it's extremely, extremely smooth. Like you can barely feel that you're riding on the train. I guess that's the new catchphrase for the train. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yes. Now you do also have this little headrest and you can adjust it, which is nice. Oh, that feels better. 
we're going pretty quick now. We're about 145 kilometers an hour, and this is supposed to go up to almost 300 kilometers per hour at top speed. So we'll see how close we get to that today. This really reminds me of uh, the JR train in Japan. It is just as smooth and just as fast. It's just absolutely impressive that Indonesia is just expanding its rail network to include this because this is gonna just change travel here in Indonesia completely. Being able to go between like Bandung and Jakarta in, in less than 45 minutes is just insane because typically when you're driving, it takes about three, three hours or so. Even on a regular train, it takes about three and a half hours. So to be able to just shorten that distance to under 45 minutes is just absolutely crazy. And I can't wait how much further they expand this rail network. You can literally hear the train speeding up now. We're over 200 kilometers an hour. And you're, you're starting to really feel it now. Oh my God, look how fast we're going. We are moving over 300 kilometers an hour, 348 to be exact. I'm gonna have to put the conversion down below in miles per hour for all the Americans on this on these uh, videos. But uh, you are really starting to feel it in your head. I don't know why that is. I'm actually kind of happy that uh, we're not gonna be on this train very long. From the other videos I've seen of people riding this train as well, they've also reported the same thing that they're getting dizzy on this train because it's moving so quickly. But overall, from a first class perspective, it's not bad. Um, you're only on the train for. 30 minutes or so but again the seats are very firm they're spacious you're really paying for the leg room here and the privacy and the, the quiet cabin because there's only about nine seats on this train aside from me the person that's vlogging and speaking <laughs> and if i would say anything guys if you're coming from jakarta get the get the seats on the opposite side because it's much better views on the left side going to bandung compared to uh on the right side where you're getting a lot of walls and obstructions so you don't get as great of a view in my opinion um but if you're coming from bandung to jakarta you want to be sitting um on the right side the opposite way of course it looks like we get snacks snacks are coming around now so we've just got um, a snack box come out um, i think this is for first class i don't think you get this in uh, in the economy maybe in business class i'm not sure what business class is like just yet because this is the first time riding but you do get a little pastry here okay from holland bakery very famous brand here in indonesia very good pastries you also get a, uh, a little apple juice, my favorite kind of juice, and you get a water. So for 600K, you get privacy, you get a really big spacious seat, and you get a nice little uh, quick snack box. So, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> So we got about seven minutes left before we arrive. It was that quick. Um, but before we do, I want to see what the bathroom situation is like in first class. Now the bathroom was brand new, clean, the sink worked, the toilet worked. It was everything you would imagine a bathroom to look like. It smells very good in here. I saw business class. So overall bathrooms look really nice, very clean. Of course, I expected that with a brand new train, but I also got a sneak peek of business class. I think business class is a better value. Yeah, it's the same exact seats. There's more people in there, but I think it's cheaper and it looks exactly the same as first class. It looks like the state was <laughs> So fast. So, we are about to arrive to the station. It is nearly exactly 30 minutes since we left. So, very, very precise in, in how fast and how quick we get here. So, impressive. It doesn't feel like it's 30 minutes, it feels like only 5 minutes. Yes, yeah, so fast. 5 minutes ago, I was in Jakarta, now in Bali. <laughs> like, literally. Insane. <laughs> There you go. Right, bye bye. <laughs> so what do you think? It was just so smooth, so fast. Um, do you feel, like, do you like feel lightheaded? 
a little bit the first three minutes, five minutes because yeah. it was really, really fast. Yeah. Um, but I personally think for 600k, <laughs> I wouldn't do it again. I personally understand why they don't really have much like so many facility inside like tv yeah. i was expecting to have tv yeah they did but it was only 30 minutes right and we couldn't even feel like it was 30 minutes so i feel like to have a tv or to get a meal is just too much yeah because yeah. it's just going too fast so for a snack she literally gave us five minutes before he arrived like yeah. 10 minutes five minutes and I felt like, oh my god, I haven't even finished my, finished my snacks. And, then <laughs> and we're already here. We're already here. Yeah. There's really no need for amenities. Uh, however, we didn't have a VIP lounge like we were expecting. Maybe that actually does exist. And we just didn't have time to explore the uh, station and find it. Uh, however, amenities wise, there's really not too many. And the reason for that is just because of how quick this train is. So tomorrow we are taking the train back to Jakarta actually to see our friend. And we're gonna experience what economy is like in comparison to first class and which one should you choose? All right guys, it is two days later. We are back here at Paralarang station. So this time around we have tickets. We're not using the app this time just to see if there's really any difference. Uh, so far, not really. We're taking the train at five o'clock. The earliest train I think you can take uh, is going to be at 7 a.m. and the latest train is uh, I believe like 6 or 7 p.m. so the train only runs for about 12 hours which is kind of, I wish it would run longer so that you know if you come late at night into Jakarta on an international flight you could just take the train uh, at night but unfortunately that's not the case. We got more security checks here similar to an airport as we already mentioned. Uh, we're in the departure area which is just one big room here at the uh, station and they do have a VIP room which is one thing that we missed unfortunately last time because we didn't come soon enough but uh, that's what it looks like. Now unfortunately because these stations are all brand new there's still a lot to be built and one of the downsides of traveling right now at the moment is that there is no food there's no coffee shops uh, aside from the lounge the VIP lounge if you're if you're traveling in a first class or business class so Unfortunately, there's no snacks. Bring some with you. So one important thing that Kintanya just mentioned is that do not lose this blue little ticket. Uh, one of the inconveniences of having a physical ticket is that you have to use this on the way out when you get to Jakarta. Uh, whereas if you have the QR code on your phone, it's much easier. A train has arrived. It's absolutely insane how many people got their phones out. I'm sure a month or two down the road, this will all the hype will subside. And uh, push, push, push. Yes. as you can see, it is a packed, packed train, all booked up. All right, here we go. And the 9A, so we got this row here with the three seats. And uh, actually the leg room is pretty nice. Everybody's trying to find their seats. And we're already moving. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. This train is moving and nobody's even seated. It's just absolute chaos on this train right now. In the car. We are on this train, finally. Very not comfortable. You're not comfortable. <laughs> I have to do like this. I'm sorry. So, economy here has some recline. I, I don't want to recline all the way back because I got people behind me. This is a full economy carriage here. We're on this is car number two, I believe. Um, Plenty of legroom actually. There's no footrest though, like there was in uh, first class. You do have a little pocket in front of your seat and a nice little tray that's actually pretty far away from your seat to be honest with you. The seats are also configured in a, uh, a three and two configuration and we have already hit 330 kilometers an hour. The train is just flying. Now the differences between first and economy is actually quite significant. We don't get any meals on board here. There's a lot more people in here. Um, so it's a little bit louder with people talking. Uh, however, it, the seats are very simplistic if that's what you're really going for uh, compared to first class where it's just bigger seats, much wider. Um, the comfort level is about the same to be honest with you um, because they are very firm and uh, these seats are just about 
about the same, but we got three people eating together. But remember, people are just using this train to get from point A to point B, so that's really what this train is meant for. And overall, the facilities are all brand new. They do have baggage compartments overhead for small bags and carry-ons, and that's really about it. But first, before we finish, let's go check out the bathroom. I want to see if it's different than first class. And to save you guys the time, it's exactly the same as first class. Just as fast as I have gone to the bathroom, we've already arrived. I think one of the most impressive things, even besides the train itself, is the station and the many stations that they've been able to build over the last, what, two, two three years that they've uh, had this project going on. Uh, it's, there's still a lot of developments to be, to be uh, improved upon, such as uh, adding cafes and restaurants, but overall, this is a great start for Indonesia. So this is the exact reason why you should not lose your ticket because you're gonna need it to get out, of course. And I'll take that, thank you. So as you guys arrive here, there are plenty of taxis for you to choose from. Lots of bluebirds waiting, and uh, we got a grab actually fairly quickly. Alright guys, we arrived at the hotel room. Last night was really late, we just passed out. Uh, long day of travel, but overall, amazing experience. I'm definitely gonna be doing this train again because it was so good. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys been on this train? And uh, whether you think business class, first class is actually worth upgrading to compared to the economy ticket.